Cost of performance! <laughs> Young Mikey? Wasteman Rover, you know what I'm saying, yeah? I don't want to show you the engine too much, too many top secrets in there. This is obviously a turbo edition, just like all of my cars, so obviously. It started raining. There you go. Simplest mod I've probably ever done. Looks cool as fuck. Good morning guys, welcome to another episode of Monkey London. I uh, hope you all enjoyed your bank holiday Easter weekend. I know I certainly did, a bit of housework, but yeah, keeping myself sane. We are, of course, obviously here. Not even gonna try and attempt to say it like Monkey does. Cost and performance. <laughs> <laughs> Couple of bits to do today. We are also have young Mikey. Wasteman Rover, you know what I'm saying, yeah? Such a wanker. Anyway. So we are going to... We've just got to move some cars around. So we're firstly going to get this uh, JZX tied up. The Verosa. Uh, call the 15 out. Needs to do some bits on that. Excellent. Still in my life. Oh, the old jump pack's dying. Let's get the rally car. Right, that is the JZX all started up. Uh, of course, we had to use the famous World Rally car. Don't want to show you the engine too much, too many top secrets in there. The old uh, jump pack seems to have uh, died, I think she's at the end of her life. So uh, anyway, let's start, uh, we're going to get some cars moved. Five minutes later. One hour later. Right guys, so I've got a couple of things to do this morning. First of which, I'm just gonna have a quick look at my GT86. Uh, did have a small issue with the ABS light being on. It's always been there, never really bothered me. But I decided to have a look at it, and I think I found it enough. That it was just basically where I'd had the inside, uh, the engine bay painted. I think it's just not connecting properly. So I've cleaned it up, it earths out quickly now. Reset the fault code on the diagnostics, which, uh, yeah. Diagnostics in there, set the fault code, um, and now it's going to take a quick test drive to make sure it's all okay. Uh, the wire in question, if you guys can see, yeah, it's just that one just down there. You've got those two there. There's one on the left, just wasn't connected properly, just been painted, so a bit of excess paint, I guess, on the thread, it was just stopping it from earthing out. So we'll take up a quick drive now, see how that goes, and then go from there. <laughs> So we're just giving the brakes a bit of a clean up at the moment. It's been, it hasn't been driven for maybe about a month or so. So just, yeah, I can hear the brakes, uh, a bit of surface corrosion on them. So just getting a bit of braking, clean those up a bit. Basically, but part of the diagnostic process is once you've reset this fault, is uh, basically drive the car above, uh, it's like 20, some random, like 26 miles an hour. It's probably uh, kind of converted from kilometers. Uh, Basically, I've got a cruise of that for about 30 seconds, which we have got the dual carriageway up here, which we can do. Not dual carriageway, which we've got a bit of a fast road. So we do that, and then hopefully we'll go back and uh, test it. It's all good. So this is obviously a turbo edition, just like all of my cars. So obviously, when it's under a bit of a higher RPM, uh, a bit more load, you can really hear it. See? It makes that cool turbo flutter, you know. Like all my cars, Turbo, Peugeot, and Lexus, you know, you've got to have it really. Now, if you guys have a look just around the corner here, I was coming into work this morning, and uh, obviously somebody didn't quite know the roads, and had a bit of a whoopsie right here. So where this like red uh, reflective post is here, you can see somebody gone straight through there into that bush and had a bit of a whoopsie daisy. I did get out and check, there was nobody in the car. Um, of uh, yeah, tree they got ripped off there. Bit of a moment last night, I guess. Right, we are back at the workshop. Give it a scan and see what happens. So I've gone through the manual system just to see what's going on. Um, I do know it has an ABS sensor fault on the near side front, um, which I'm hoping is going to be something simple because it only seemed to come on ever since I had it looked at by an auto electrician. So fingers crossed, it's just going to be a wire, something somewhere like not an actual 
part is broken, needs replacing. Give it a quick scan. I just want to check the ABS system because that's all there is. Fingers crossed. Ah, yes, sweet. Basically, it was the ABS pump motor relay uh, that's having no signal, and you know, not having an earth, not gonna have power, it's gonna have signal. So, yeah, we will have a look at this left front speed sensor signal. So it's got an open circuit, basically just a broken wire probably. It's not getting a signal, not getting a connection. I have got the, the guided diagnostics to go through this and see what this exactly could be. So all the possible scenarios. It's only happened since an auto electrician had a look at it. So um, I'm hoping it's just gonna be just a, yeah, just a simple wire that's not connected up somewhere. Maybe a pin pulled out of a plug by accident. I'm happy with, uh, yeah, the result there. Nancy, so me. Radio 1 is banging them out today. Quite a peaceful bit, I like this. Right, so Ryan round at RMC in uh, my old workshop. Uh, it's very nicely just let us go around there and use uh, his hose because uh, we don't actually have one at ours at the moment. So I'm going to go around there and give the car a little clean. I think it's always uh, important to give it a nice little wash to just treat it, say thank you for for being fixed and uh, not causing me too much headaches. So a little, little treat for the car. Top tip for uh, when you're washing your car, always close your windows. Don't worry guys, I mean, we haven't really got the weather for it, but I ain't gonna be doing this in my bikini. Save that for my OnlyFans, which, you know, I'll post just down here. You guys can have the proper watch then. noisy air tank in the back for those of you who are probably thinking yep you did that completely wrong uh, yeah I probably did but uh, I am no pro basically I just wanted to get the bird dirt off the paint otherwise it will stain and then causes me more problems um, so yeah anyway it's more of a thank you car for being fixed <laughs> I'm relieved it's been a while like that back to the workshop quick dry and uh, might have time for lunch Just going to be quickly these number plates here from Jack West Mods. Really, really, really cool. Made by Vertex, but uh, like literally a little LED light up number plates around. Um, I'm going to quickly fit this up um, onto my GT86 just so I can get some pictures for him. They do come in other colours, but I only have the blue for now because, you know, I like blue. And we're going to get that on the car and go see how it looks. It's bloody weather. Literally can't believe it. Washed the car, actually dried it, and I swear to God. As soon as that drying towel come off the car, it started raining. Either way, looks good. So, she needed it, well deserved. There you go, simplest mod I've probably ever done. Looks cool as fuck. Gotta be honest, does look better. And there you have it. Uh, on the wall with an actual Japanese number plate. So, yeah, fits a lot nicer. Looks pretty sick next to the gold. Vertex number plate, the Nardi Vertex combination wheel. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Looking good. If you're wondering why I'm wearing my Arch Enemy uniform at the moment, which does have holes in it, didn't come included. This lovely Hoover attachment. I mean, she is going to be super psyched for that. Look at that. She's going to get in all the little corners and everything. That's going to keep her busy for, I mean, all weekend, but weeks. I can't wait to see a look on her face. Women, eh? They don't appreciate anything. Anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Um, if you put any comments in the comment section, I'd really appreciate it. I'll read through them. Uh, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, please give a like and a share, and I will see you all guys soon. Peace.